Hey everyone, so we're at Virginia Water and we're going to show you around. It's part of Windsor Great Park, really beautiful park and we'll vlog it just to show you what it's like here. There's a little van selling snacks and coffee. They don't want people to gather together too much though because of lockdown. Bit of construction going on. And here is the beautiful lake. So this will show you everything we've got at Virginia Water. We've got the ruins, half a mile that way. Cascade, which is a waterfall, quarter of a mile that way. Deer Park, two and a quarter miles. Valley Garden, Saville Garden and Totem Pole. We're going to walk all the way around the lake and I think if you walk all the way around the lake and all the way back here again it's actually about four and a half miles. Here's Katie already on the scooter. So as I said Virginia Waters part of Windsor Great Park and there's a little bit of information about it. So off we go, we're going to scoot and walk around the lake. The lake looking beautiful. In the summer you'll see people trying to swim here, although it's not allowed, but people do. But even in this cool winter's day it's really beautiful here. which are really beautiful there we go so as we come round from the cascade we've got more beautiful views of the lake and I think up here is the groundsman's house where the lucky groundsman gets to live. How awesome. Okay, so we're at the first pond head, apparently. Let's read what that means. It says, this point marks the original eastern boundary of Virginia Water. The first pond head was built here in 1753 by William Augustus, Duke of Cumberland, then Ranger of Windsor Great Park. As part of his ambitious landscaping project, it transformed the serpentine Virginia Brook into the largest man-made lake then in Britain. On the night of the 1st of September 1768, torrential rainfall caused the pond head to collapse with tragic consequences for some local inhabitants. It wasn't until the late 1780s Virginia water was fully restored. Ooh, so these are the relics of the original pond head. And then opposite us, we have the ruins. So we're gonna head over the ancient ruins. Katie's looking after the scooter. <laughs> and we're going to walk around show you what that's like so here's where the ruins come from the roman city of leptis magna the source of many of the stones that were used to create the ruins a roman city leptis magna sited on the shores of the mediterranean near tripoli in present-day libya so yeah these stones are like all the way from libya Here's a bit more about the stones and how they transported them from Libya. It's pretty wild having these ruins in the middle of Windsor that came all the way from Libya. And here's some information about the repair project where in 2008 
the Crown Estate repaired the pillars to a condition as close to Wyattville's original design as possible and how they did it. And this is the end of the ruins. So we can now walk back through here and carry on our walk down Virginia water. We think this looks like a troll from Frozen. Well, I, I do. So there's some swans I'm going to try and show you. Here's the beautiful swan coming towards us. Of course, the swans in England all belong to the Queen. They're her swans. Really lovely. And some ducks too. Oh, I can see three swans now. Three swans are swimming on Windsor Lake. Hello, swans. Okay, so we can look across the lake at what's called the Fishing Temple and then we'll read this little thing here to see what the history of that is. So, the Fishing Temple. From this point, looking across Virginia water to its northern shore, you can identify the brick steps that lead up from the water onto the moated island opposite, marking the site of the Fishing Temple. The famous landmark built in 1825 by Sir Geoffrey Wyattville and later lavishly embellished in the Chinese style by the fashionable decorator Frederick Crace was a favourite retreat for King George IV. As a focus for royal picnic parties, it remained in use till 1867 when it was replaced by a Swiss chalet itself demolished in 1936. So that's what it used to look like. And now they've got this little building like a little house over there the lake looking absolutely beautiful on this calm winter's day we're going to carry on scooting and walking walking around virginia water so we're just coming up to the five arch bridge over the lake and i think we should get to the polo club soon where prince charles plays polo and the royal family. So we're just going to carry on. It should be about four and a half miles all the way around the lake. So the five arch bridge, what does it tell us? The stone bridge that crosses Virginia water today was built between 1822 and 1827. On the site of two earlier bridges, the first wooden great bridge was built as part of the Duke of Cumberland's works in the 18th century and rose in a single span. The second, the Great Stone Bridge, completed in 1789, was so dilapidated by 1826, the architect Sir Geoffrey Wyattville judged it would be a folly to repair it. His own, his own massively constructed five-arch bridge has lasted relatively unchanged for 180 years. Pretty dirty and muddy, but we're just coming around to another coffee stand type place and the entrance to the polo club so this is the polo club where prince charles prince philip william and harry they all play polo there's a security man on the entrance i'm not <laughs> sure he's going to let me film much so i'll just film that bit of it here's another sign about windsor great park and then around here the polo club We'll be watched by the security guard, but never mind. And then over here, you can see all the horse boxes of all the wealthy people that own horses. But it's private, so we can't go up there. She's climbing up the abandoned tree trunk with the beautiful tree roots. Queen of the castle. There's Queen Elizabeth II. And then there's Queen Katie May. Queen of log climbing. We're just coming up to this bridge, the Five Arch Bridge that I filmed earlier and we've noticed some people riding their horses. Lots and lots and lots of dog walkers at Virginia Water and of course people horse riding which is amazing. We love it. The horses have decided to wait just here because there is a very very big 
lorry coming and the horses are staying out of the way. There go the horses over the bridge. It looks like a lovely day for a ride. The horses are having a slow walk that way and this is the view from the bridge. I'm back that way to the polo club. So on the next part of our walk, we're coming across to the, I think, Hanging Gardens or something, about where that pink shrubbery is. And we're going to go in there and maybe have a break. So we found some more signposts and we're headed to the Totem Pole. And we're going to go this way through the gardens. We've now walked about two miles. And if we can find somewhere to put our blanket down and have our little picnic, we're going to do that in these gardens. So this part is called the Valley Gardens of Windsor Great Park. And we're going to walk around the Valley Gardens. You are here. Hopefully it should be pretty, even though it's the winter time. Up now, and Katie's having a scoot along through the gardens looks pretty so I think we're gonna put our blanket down see if we can have a very British picnic in the freezing cold <laughs> yes so this is our very British picnic in the middle of winter we have a thermos with hot water a cup we've got some tea bags we've got some Kit Kats crisps and in my little Bon Maman pot we've got milk so it's time to make some tea very simple. The Savile Gardens and there's a lovely sort of Chinese, Japanese style pagoda bridge there and then there's a little lake here with a gigantic dragonfly made of wood I think it is. We're going to make our way this way to the totem pole. Gardens we think this is a pretty view and these orange trees are really strange. I don't know what they are but they're very interesting. Come out of the gardens and we're headed for the totem pole. A like bar and a coffee van and headed to the totem pole. This is the path that leads to the totem pole and when we get closer I'll film it a bit better for you. And here's the final area around the lake where the amazing totem pole is. And this was a gift to the Queen from Canada. And I'm going to get a bit closer and film it for you. So here's the totem pole. Let's see what it says. The 100 foot high totem pole was erected in 1958 to mark the centenary of the establishment of British Columbia as a crown colony. It was carved from a single 600 year old log of Western red cedar taken from the forests of Haida Gwaii near Vancouver and this little bit here tells you about all the different sections and animals that are on the totem pole and here we go and we're going to head that way and back to the car park again. A bit of the lake with some lovely swans and ducks. And another ice cream van. So, just finishing our vlog of Virginia Water, part of the Royal Parks, Windsor Great Park. Hope you enjoyed coming with us on our little lockdown walk and um, it was really pretty today hope you enjoyed it bye, bye.